In this video, I will show you three ways to load data into MySQL HeatWave on AWS. The first way is to import an Amazon Aurora dump from Amazon S3. The second way is to set up continuous replication from Amazon Aurora. And the third way is to load data files from S3 with HeatWave Lakehouse. To load data from Amazon Aurora, let us first export the database ApoDB to S3 using the instance dump utility of MySQL shell, which can export data from any MySQL deployment. Use compatibility checks if you are exporting from an on-premise instance or Amazon RDS and Aurora. The database is exported to S3 in MySQL dump file format. Now let us import data to MySQL HeatWave on AWS which provides an easy and quick way to import data directly from S3 without the use of MySQL shell. Set up the IAM rules with permissions and trust relationships to allow access to the S3 bucket and add the IAM ARN to the MySQL HeatWave instance. Once this is set up, connect to the MySQL HeatWave instance and go to Data Imports to import data from S3 to which we had earlier exported the database. The import takes a few minutes. You can check the import status in the details page. The data is imported into MySQL InnoDB and we will now load data into HeatWave. On the query editor, let us run a query to see how much query performance we get in HeatWave as compared to MySQL. In this example, we have a fairly complex query which consists of multiple table joins with filters and group by. The query takes only 0.2 seconds on HeatWave and it takes 14 seconds on MySQL, which means HeatWave runs the query 70 times faster. If you want to continuously replicate data from Amazon Aurora to MySQL HeatWave, you can set up inbound replication. On the MySQL HeatWave console, create a replication channel that specifies the Amazon Aurora instance as the source database and the MySQL HeatWave instance as the target database. Click the channel to view its details. Let us add two new bookings for passengers in Amazon Aurora and verify that these bookings are replicated to MySQL HeatWave. Replication channel automatically replicates the data from Aurora to MySQL HeatWave. The data is updated in MySQL InnoDB and it is then automatically propagated to the HeatWave memory. Besides importing data to MySQL InnoDB, you can use HeatWave Lakehouse to query data stored in S3 in a variety of file formats such as CSV, Parquet, Avro, or Aurora and Redshift export files. On S3, we have a CSV file that we will load to HeatWave Lakehouse. First, create Lakehouse mapping, specify the S3 location, and the file format that you want to use. This invokes MySQL Autopilot, which uses advanced machine learning techniques to automatically determine the best suited schema mapping of the file in S3. Once the mapping is created, load the mapped table into HeatWave. With HeatWave Lakehouse, you can query data stored in S3, in MySQL InnoDB, or both. This brings us to the end of the video. To learn more, go to oracle.com slash mysql.